Hello, Young Math Padawans. It's Mrs. Angel with your lesson for today on integer expressions with zero pairs. So to start, let's talk about a zero pair. Two numbers that have a sum of zero, or a pair of numbers that add up to zero. So in this video, we're going to be looking at adding positive and negative numbers. When we're talking about positive numbers, I'm going to use a plus sign. And when talking about negative numbers, I'm going to use this negative symbol. Now here's the deal with the zero pair. Every time we have one positive and one negative, those added together will always equal zero. So we're going to put a zero through them to represent that as a zero pair. So when we're adding integers together, we're going to use what I like to call counters, or sometimes they're called tiles. We're going to count how many positives we have and how many negatives we have based on the numbers in the expression. So let's look at number one. We're starting off with positive five. So I'm going to start by drawing five positive signs. One, two, three, four, five. And if I read the rest of the expression, we're going to add positive two. So that means I'm going to add on two more positives. Now, if you notice here, because everything's positive, I don't have any zero pairs. So all I'm going to do is total up how many I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So in total, we have seven positives or positive seven. In example two, I'm starting with negative five. Or I could write that as five negatives. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm adding two positives to that. One, two. Now there's a reason I put it directly underneath the negatives because now we have what's called a zero pair. This positive and negative add up to zero. This positive and negative also add up to zero. Now I look at what I have left. Zero, zero, and one, two, three negatives means that my final answer is negative three. All right, let's take a look at example three. I have positive five or five positives. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm adding negative two, or in this case, two negatives. And again, I like the last time, I'm gonna put them underneath my positives. One, two. I have some zero pairs. A positive and a negative make zero and another one makes zero, and that leaves me with one, two, three positives remaining. So my final answer is positive three. Last one, I start off with negative five, or five negatives. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm adding two more negatives to that, negative two, one, two. Now there's no zero pairs here because I don't have any positives in the mix, so I'm just gonna total them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven negatives in total gives me an answer of negative seven. So now it's your turn. Go ahead and try practice one, two, and three on your own. How did you do? Now let's look at how we subtract integers using counters. Subtraction is very complicated when it comes to zero pairs, whereas addition is a little more straightforward. So fortunately in math, we have these things called equivalent operations, and we can use the equivalent operations to change all of these subtraction problems into addition. And the way to do that is to remember, add the opposite. Let me show you what I mean with example one. In example one here, we have positive five and we're subtracting positive two. Now, hopefully you can do this in your head. You know that five minus two is three, but let's look at what that looks like using counters. I'm gonna start with positive five or five positives. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna keep my positive five, but I'm gonna change my subtraction to adding and I'm gonna add the opposite of positive two, which is negative two. Adding a negative is equivalent to subtracting a positive. 
I'm gonna add those underneath and I can start looking for my zero pairs. I have two zero pairs and I have, you guessed it, three positives left over. So I know my answer is positive three. Well, we knew that already, but now we've shown it using counters. In example two, I have negative five and I'm taking away or subtracting negative two. So let's start with my five negatives. One, two, three, four, five. That's not going to change. What is going to change is I'm gonna add the opposite. Change subtraction to addition and the opposite of negative two is positive two. So I'm gonna add two positives underneath, one, two. Now I have zero pairs and I'm left with three negatives or an answer of negative three. All right, example three. I'm starting with positive five and I'm subtracting negative two. One, two, three, four, five. That's not going to change. However, I can change my subtraction to adding and the opposite of negative two is positive two. So I just add two more positives underneath, one, two. Since I don't have any zero pairs, I just total it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven positives total means an answer is positive seven. I'm starting with negative five and I'm subtracting positive two. Let's start with our five negatives. One, two, three, four, five. That's not going to change. Now I'm gonna change my subtraction to adding. Add the opposite. What's the opposite of positive two? Negative two. So I'm gonna add two more negatives. One, two. Since I don't have any zero pairs, I'm just gonna total it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven negatives means my answer is negative seven. All right, our final example. We're starting with positive two and we're subtracting positive five. So I'm gonna start with my positive two. One, two, that doesn't change. But I'm gonna change my subtraction to adding and the opposite of positive five is negative five. So I'm gonna add five negatives here. One, two, three, four, five. All right, I've got some zero pairs right there and right there. And it looks like I have three negatives left over. So my answer is negative three. So to wrap this up with a few notes, a zero pair means you have a positive and a negative and their sum adds up to zero. When it comes to subtraction, the best thing to do is use your equivalent operations, change them into addition by adding the opposite. Then it's a lot easier to use your counters. That's it for today's lesson. I'll see you next time.